Hello, everybody. It's March 11th, and uh, I just read PC Perspectives article where they tried to explain that the Windows scheduler isn't the entirety of the AMD Ryzen gaming performance issue. And they did a great, well, Alan did a great job at coming up with graphs, coming up with data like he usually does. I respect him. I love what he does with hard drives. But I, th the whole article is burying the lead. Right now, I've just taken my 5820K to 3.6 gigahertz, which is equal to a run that I did on my Ryzen 1800X in Firestrike with uh, my 980 Ti. I'm going to be seeing what the performance comparison is when it's clock for clock. And while I might not show that it's SMT that's the problem, I will show that there's something funky going on that has nothing to do with even core performance at all. No. Bad cores. Bad cores. And I'm pretty sure the scheduler does more than just toss threads around. It tells the computer how to ad address things in the system in certain ways for optimal performance for the certain socketed CPU. So check out these results. And, 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 and. Man, I really love this new fiber internet connection. 100 down, but I usually test about 125 and 25 up and I usually test above that around 30 up. It's great. Okay, so while I'm running the test on my 5820K, I'm going to talk about some stuff here. And um, my previous Ryzen uh, benchmarks showed that the single core performance, clock for clock, is about equal or better than my 5820K is. So if the thread scheduler was the problem, then the performance delta wouldn't be as big as it is. I'll, I'll agree with that. That, you know, you have a game and it's shuffling its threads and single thread is better clock for clock, then the game should perform better. But that's not what we're seeing at all. Firestrike isn't the best way to be testing this, but it's a comparable that I have. And all that matters is the difference between the two tests. Again, the tests are run with the same hard drive, same OS install, same Steam install, same everything. I clocked the RAM in my 5820K to the same speed as the Ryzen test was run in. I clocked the CPU the same. The only difference there is that the Ryzen had its full eight cores enabled because if we're testing scheduling, then might as well leave it enabled because hyper-threading is on in my 5820K. The only test that I expect to see um, lower here is the physics test because more threads on Ryzen. And that is what I'm seeing. The FPS is lower from what I remember right now. The combined test is going to be interesting to see the FPS results of because for some reason the combined test crawls. But on the 5820K, it's fine. It's smooth. It's, it's what I expect it to be. But nothing's the way I expect it, and it's not that I have expectations. I'm not an AMD fanboy. It's just when I see things that don't make sense, I, I, I want a reason why they don't make sense. If I could compute with one thread in Cinema 4D faster on the Ryzen than in my 5820K, then I would want to be using the Ryzen right now. Except as soon as you throw the GPU in the mix, it seems to get 
slow. So I'll throw it to the display capture in OBS so you can see this more clearly, and we'll take a look at the results. Okay, so here we are in the magical land of Fire Strike results. We got the 5820K in the left. We got my Ryzen on the right. Let's take a look at the specs first. Make sure I'm not doing too much funny business here. You can see the GPU is exactly the same. I got 36949. I'm going to give it to you, baby, one more time. Get low or something like that. And uh, I got the 5820K running at a maximum turbo of 3.6, which is proximate to the 3592 of the Ryzen. Yeah, I didn't take out two of my RAM sticks, but I mean, that's not going to make what you're going to see in the results here. So, and now we got La Roselte. Uh, and you can see the whole 3D Mark score itself is, eh, it's fine. It's about equal. Graphics, eh, about equal. Physics, like I said, it's going to rise in more cores. But now, now, now I guess I'm really confusing. We got the combined score. But it's going to the 5820K, which got less physics score and only 0.7% better graphics score. And look at the FPS difference in the combined 31.23 on the 5820K, 26.48 on the 1800X. So something's going on here when you're asking the Ryzen to do its Infinity Fabric communications to the PCI Express slot. It's all, all, all I could guess there. And uh, it has the lanes. It's not like the 980Ti is a killer. But the same thing happens with any graphics card. As soon as you have a load going to the, the graphics card, along with processor stuff going on, you get a reduction in performance. This is what I'm observing. This might be what other people are observing as a game frame per second loss. It could have something to do with the scheduler. I have no idea, but to go out and test things that show that the scheduler is working just fine and then dismissing the entire problem, that's burying the lead and possibly not doing your due diligence to actually test the problem that people are bringing up. That's all I got to say. Subscribe to my videos. If you want more videos like this, support me on Patreon, patreon.com slash navjack27. Like this video, I already said subscribe. I'm going to go do some other stuff with my day. I'll see you guys later.